We're going to turn now to a story stirring up some controversy in Florida. There was a high school pitcher there that a lot of people saw as a symbol of perseverance for overcoming a physical disability he was born with. But now he's been cut from the team, and as Yenji Denise reports, many who've seen him pitch are asking whether the high school team made the right decision. For Anthony Baruto, there is nothing better than this. It's a great feeling that I'm just going to throw that ball as hard as I can. The 16-year-old not only loves pitching, he's also very good. With an 80-mile-an-hour fastball, he's even gotten ESPN's attention. He could be a top prospect for the major leagues, except for one thing. Anthony has no legs. He was congenital uh, at birth. He was missing uh, tibia and fibia in both legs, so we amputated. He's an overachiever. He doesn't have a disability. Not in his mind. Standing tall on two prosthetics, Anthony has been pitching and winning since he was just eight years old. But now his game is over. The Dr. Phillips High School sophomore was cut on the second day of tryouts despite that killer arm. That was one of the biggest disappointments in my life because that was my all-time dream. The conflict centers on this short distance between the pitcher's mound and home plate. Because of Anthony's prosthetics, it's harder for him to field a bunt. And many coaches will tell you that a pitcher who can't field a bunt can't play. I've been playing for eight years again, and that's never been an issue. The school district told us Anthony was given the same opportunity as all other students and suggested that he try again next year. I don't want him to give up on baseball. He's too good of a player. Anthony has never let his disability slow him down. He only wishes his school would do the same. For Good Morning America, Yanji Denise, ABC News. Mm -hmm.